for final exam where he pit two news professionals against one another to see which of them has been paying closer attention. Heavy hitters this week, a Fox mainstay against one of his frequent guests. Brett Baer, one of the best informed, the best informed news anchor in Washington, hosts special report. Molly Hemingway, noted intellectual and master of the incisive expository essay, is senior editor at The Federalist. Together, they make today's contestants welcome. Thank you. You know how nervous we are collectively? <laughs> That's not good. <laughs> I'm nervous. I've got a lot of money in this. I'm not going to tell you who I bet on. Okay, here are the rules. You know them, but I'm going to repeat them for our viewers. Hands on buzzers. I ask the questions. First one to buzz in gets to answer. You have to wait till I finish asking the question in order to do that. Every correct answer is worth one point. Get one wrong, you lose a point. Best of five wins. Are you ready? Ready. Ready. All right, question one. Jeez. Fergie, the singer, upset a lot of people this week with her jazzy and sultry rendition, we're being generous there, of the national anthem. At which game did that performance take place? Brett Bear. Fergie sang at the... Almost. Basketball game. Almost there. At the basketball game. Now, we're going to roll the tape and then ask our judges if Wait, your answer is out. I thought you needed the specific I, well, game. Time out. I'm not Let's the just... judge. I'm merely the... <laughs> I'm the oh, variant. I had a good okay. answer. Would you like to I get more specific? Forgot. No. No. Let's just roll the tape. Okay. Let's roll the tape. <laughs> Basketball game. Good news is everyone stood for the national anthem last night at the NBA All Star oh, Game, but some couldn't stand what they were hearing. She sounds like a sober Janice. I Joplin. meant All Star. I mean, it was inferred. Okay, so I'm merely a marionette who takes directions from the puppet masters in New York, and I'm going to ask them now: <laughs> Is basketball game adequate? No. Oh. Sorry. I so know. I get a minus. You get a minus. Oh dear. That seems unfair. All right. You're headed in the same direction as Bitcoin tonight. <laughs> okay. Question two: Apple is moving its employees into a five billion dollar spaceship-like campus, but the glass walls are causing a painful problem for its workers. What is that problem? Molly Hemingway. I, I, this is, breaks my strategy. You're not supposed to answer if you don't know the answer. That's true, like the SAT. I'm just going to go with glare. Glare. Is it glare? The number of employees walking into the curved glass walls there has gotten so bad, emergency services had to be called. <laughs> Workers are saying, hey, we're going to put sticky notes on some of these glass walls and doors so people don't walk into them. Apparently, reportedly, their bosses took the sticky notes off because it ruined the design and uh, the look of the uh, of the building. So they're like birds. They're like birds. <laughs> they're, like bird. <laughs> they're like your cat. Yeah, they run right into it. So for the first time in the 35-year history of this show, or three months long, or however long it's been, we have a tie of negative one to <laughs> negative one. Hence I want to see how low we, we can were go. Nervous. <laughs> <laughs> you had every reason to be here. All your fears were true. There is a monster in the closet. Oh. Not here. Okay. Question three. That's a good point. After a 20-year drought, which women's Olympic team brought home the gold today after a close match against Canada? Canada. Canada. Can't buzz early. <laughs> Brett, you get to answer first because Molly Hemingway, you buzzed early. Awesome. Uh, U.S. women's hockey team. U.S. women's hockey team against Canada. Gold medal winning hockey players are in the house. Hi, you guys. You know what's better than a gold medal? 23 gold <laughs> medals. So the good news is you're winning. The bad news is you're at zero anyway. <laughs> zero. It's all relative. It's, all, it's absolutely right. You don't have to be the fastest. You just can't be the slowest. Question right, four. Here we go. Which Hollywood actress announced this week she'll be giving up her acting for a year to focus on fixing our democracy? Brett Bear. Jennifer Lawrence. Not aware of her as an actress, but we're going to see if you're correct. Jennifer Lawrence is the answer. Roll tape, please. She's got a big new movie coming out of the box office, but Jennifer Lawrence won't be acting anymore for a while because she's decided to become a full-time activist. <laughs> Of stuff trying wow. to pass state by state laws um, that, could, that can help prevent corruption, fix our democracy. So now that she's no longer going to be doing movies, what are you going to do in the weekends, Brian? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I have no clue. <laughs> That's good. Okay. I'm not good at math, so I don't know where we are, but I know this is the final question. Are you ready? Oh. 
I know, it okay. goes fast on this show. Final exam. Jaws dropped at London Fashion Week after a very important person, a famous one, sat next to Vogue editor Anna Wintour, who was also important and famous, or at least famous. People are upset with Wintour for not taking off her sunglasses and are even calling her disrespectful. Who was the head of state who sat next to her? Molly Hemingway. It was the Queen. The Queen of? Queen Elizabeth. Not Brunei. England. Yes. yes. Queen Elizabeth. Is it Queen Elizabeth? Queen Elizabeth. Well, she has never wavered in her fashion sense. Her Majesty making her Fashion Week debut on Tuesday, sitting next to the grand dame of all things stylish, Vogue editor-in-chief Anna Wintour at British designer Richard Quinn's runway show. You are Very right, yes. but still okay. lose. And as our though. judges just said, if it weren't for that technical error, we might have a tie right now. Yeah. We'd be in tie-breaking territory, and you would have to guess the capital of Namibia, but we're not. <laughs> Molly, you were great. Thank you. That was valiant. But Brett, you won. Congratulations. Thank you very much. With one point. With one point. Congratulations. Thank you. Thank you.